10 people died in a racially motivated act of hate last May 14th. The confessed gunman has been sentenced to life in prison and could face the death penalty in the federal investigation. Our Michael Schwartz is live outside the tops on Jefferson Avenue. Michael, the state is now suing a gun accessory manufacturer connected to the attack. That's right, Taylor. New York State Attorney General Letitia James now suing Mean Arms LLC, accusing the Georgia-based company of making it easier for shooters to make their rifles more dangerous, like the shooter who caused horror behind me here on May 14th. The lawsuit specifically names the company's MA Lock. The gun accessory is marketed to lock a magazine onto a semi-automatic rifle. However, there are instructions on the back of the packaging on how to easily remove that lock, allowing someone to replace it with a magazine that holds more than 10 rounds, which is illegal in New York State. James says that's what the shooter did here in Buffalo, removing the MA lock at his home down in Broome County with a drill and transforming it into an illegal weapon with 30 rounds of ammunition. This Buffalo shooter who purchased this AR-15 with this lock. And according to his own manifesto, he was able to remove the lock within minutes. And, and as I just stated, um, insert this high capacity um, magazine. And so it's, it's important that individuals understand what we are trying to do is to stop mean, M-E-A-N arms from selling, from shipping or distributing um, this lock to any individual or any company in the state of New York. The gun used on May 14th was purchased legally in New York in the Binghamton area, but the shooter turned it into an illegal weapon by removing this lock made by Mean Arms. The attorney general says she will be here this weekend. I called the company today, Mean Arms, down in Georgia. The vice president of sales told, him that, told me that this lawsuit is news for him. I'm still waiting to hear back from the head of the company.